Ever wished you could be a real-life hacker? Not the shady, illegal kind, but the ones who use their skills to expose vulnerabilities and make the digital world a safer place? Well, there's this crazy little device that might just make that dream a reality. It's called the Flipper Zero, and it's basically a multi-tool for anyone interested in hacking, security research, or just tinkering with technology. Don't let its compact size fool you. This thing is loaded with impressive capabilities. Today we're going to explore the Flipper Zero, we'll uncover what it is, what it can do, and why it's become such a popular gadget among the hacking community. The Flipper Zero wasn't just some random product that hit the market, it was created by a passionate team of developers who wanted to put a powerful hacking tool in the hands of everyday people, not just the elite few. From reading and emulating radio signals to testing the security of various devices, the Flipper Zero's features are mind-blowing, and we're gonna dive into all of them one by one. We'll also discuss the ethical side of this little powerhouse and why it's crucial to use this tool responsibly and legally. Chapter 1 – Hardware and Design When you think of hacking tools, you might picture some massive device with a ton of wires and blinking lights, but the Flipper Zero defies those expectations. This compact device packs a serious punch in a small, portable package. At its core, the Flipper Zero is built around a powerful microcontroller and a user-friendly interface. But what really sets it apart is the array of antennas and sensors that give it its versatility. We're talking radio frequency capabilities, infrared transceivers, and even sub-gigahertz support. You might be wondering, why do I care about all these fancy components? Well, these features are what allow the Flipper Zero to interact with all sorts of devices and systems, from RFID tags to wireless networks. For example, you're able to clone your office's security badge just by holding the Flipper Zero near it. Or how about being able to control your TV or air conditioner with a few taps on the device's screen? That's the kind of power we're talking about here. But hardware is just the beginning. We're going to take a look into the Flipper Zero's actual capabilities and functionality. Trust me, once you see what this little guy can do, you'll be itching to get your hands on one. Chapter 2 functionality and capabilities. You're walking through a crowded mall, surrounded by people going about their day, oblivious to the hidden world of wireless signals pulsing all around them. But in your hand, you hold the key to unlocking that invisible world, the Flipper Zero. With a few taps on its compact interface, you activate the device's radio frequency scanner. Suddenly, a whole new layer of reality is revealed as the Flipper Zero picks up on a myriad of signals bouncing off every electronic device in the vicinity. You spot a familiar pattern, the distinct signature of a car's keyless entry system. You copy the pattern and save it in your Flipper Zero. Casually strolling past the parking lots of the mall, you point the Flipper Zero towards a nearby vehicle and, with a simple command, you've just unlocked it without ever touching the key. This might sound like something straight out of a spy movie, but it's just one of the many tricks the Flipper Zero has up its sleeve. With its ability to read and emulate radio frequency signals, it can interact with everything from garage doors to wireless security systems, granting you unprecedented access to the hidden world of radio communications. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. The Flipper Zero also has infrared and sub-gigahertz capabilities, allowing you to control and manipulate a vast array of devices and systems. Imagine walking into a fancy hotel lobby, the Flipper Zero discreetly tucked in your pocket. With a few subtle gestures, you can take command of the entire building's climate control system, adjusting the temperature to your liking or even triggering a sudden blast of cold air, all without anyone suspecting a thing. Or perhaps you find yourself at a friend's house eager to demonstrate the Flipper Zero's power. You casually aim it at their entertainment system and within seconds you've hijacked control of the TV flipping through channels and adjusting the volume at will, much to their bewilderment. But the true power of the Flipper Zero extends far beyond pranks and party tricks. With its sub-gigahertz capabilities, you can explore the world of industrial equipment, wireless sensors, and even Internet of Things networks. Imagine being able to monitor and potentially manipulate the data flowing through a factory's automated systems or a city's smart infrastructure. Chapter 3 – Ethical Considerations With such an incredible array of capabilities at your fingertips, Fingertips. It's easy to get caught up in the thrill and excitement of holding the Flipper Zero's power. But as you go further in the world of hacking and security testing, you quickly realize that this power comes with a heavy responsibility. The responsibility to use it ethically and legally. 
In the world of hacking, the line between legitimate security research and malicious exploitation is often blurred. The very same tools and techniques that can be used to expose vulnerabilities and strengthen defenses can also be weaponized for evil purposes. What if the Flipper Zero fell into the wrong hands, an angry ex-employee seeking revenge? A crazy criminal looking to breach secure systems? Or even a nation-state actor engaged in cyber warfare? The consequences could be devastating, ranging from personal privacy violations to crippling infrastructure attacks. This is why the ethical use of the Flipper Zero is extremely important. It's not just a matter of staying on the right side of the law, it's about upholding the principles of responsible disclosure, respecting privacy, and using your skills to make the world a safer place. Consider the case of the security researcher who discovered a critical flaw in a major company's software. Instead of exploiting it for personal gain, they followed proper channels, reported the vulnerability response and worked with the company to patch the issue, ultimately protecting millions of users from potential harm. As we navigate the complexities of ethical hacking, we'll explore real-world scenarios, legal frameworks, and best practices to ensure that the Flipper Zero remains a force for good. Because at the end of the day, true power lies not in the ability to break things, but in the wisdom to build and protect. The Hacking Community Look, we've covered a lot of heavy stuff about ethics and responsible hacking. But at the end of the day, the Flipper Zero is more than just a tool. It's a gateway into a vibrant community of like-minded individuals who share a passion for tinkering, flooring, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. In a world where the lines between the physical and digital worlds blur, a world where a simple gadget can unlock doors, control devices, and bend technology to your will. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi flick? Well, welcome, reality of the hacking community. These aren't just a bunch of code monkeys hunched over keyboards, although there's plenty of that too. A diverse crew of curious minds, united by their insatiable thirst for knowledge and their unwavering pursuit of innovation. You've got your hardware hackers who can probably build a working rocket launcher out of a toaster and some duct tape. Then there are the software wizards who can make code dance like a ballerina on speed. And let's not forget the social engineering masters who could probably talk a grizzly bear into giving up its picnic basket. But what truly sets this community apart is its spirit of collaboration and knowledge sharing. From online forums like Reddit and Hack5 to local meetups and conferences like DEF CON, hackers from all walks of life come together to swap stories, share techniques, and push each other to new heights of ingenuity. It's a constant exchange of ideas where the most seasoned veterans interact closely with wide-eyed newcomers, each learning from the other and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Want to learn how to exploit a zero-day vulnerability? There's a forum for that. Need help reverse engineering some proprietary software? Just ask, and you'll have a dozen experts weighing in with their two cents. And the Flipper Zero is like the ultimate membership card into this exclusive club. With each firmware update and community contribution, the device's capabilities expand, opening up new worlds of exploration and experimentation. Got a cool new idea for a hack? Share it with the community and watch as it gets implemented in the next release. So, whether you're a seasoned hacker or a wide-eyed newcomer, get ready to immerse yourself in a world where possible becomes possible your imagination. Alright, so we've talked about the hacking community and how the Flipper Zero is like a golden ticket into that world. But at the end of the day, what really matters is how this little gadget can be put to use in the real world. If you're a security consultant hired by a big company to test the integrity of their systems, you roll up to their fans the office building, the Flipper Zero in your pocket, ready to put their defenses through the ringer. With a few taps, you activate the device's radio frequency scanner, and bam, you've just cloned the RFID signal from an employee's access card. Like a ghost, you glide through the secure doors, past the unsuspecting guards, and into the heart of the company. This is just tip, my friend. The Flipper Zero's functions extend far beyond simple physical penetration tests. With its sub-gigahertz capabilities, you can probe the company's wireless infrastructure, sniffing out vulnerabilities in their IoT devices and systems that control and monitor industrial equipment and processes. And let's not forget about good old-fashioned social engineering. With the Flipper Zero's infrared capabilities, you can easily gain control of a conference room's presentation system, setting the stage for a well-timed technical difficulty that 
just might convince an unsuspecting employee to hand over their login credentials. But it's not just about breaking things, you know? The Flipper Zero is also a powerful tool for learning and experimentation. Want to understand how those fancy keyless entry systems work? Just grab the Flipper Zero and start playing around. Curious about the inner workings of a smart home automation system? Fire up the infrared module and get ready to tinker. With the Flipper Zero's ever-expanding feature set and the collective brain power of the hacking community behind it, the possibilities are virtually endless. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to discover the next game-changing hack or vulnerability. All right, we've covered a lot of ground here, from the Flipper Zero's impressive capabilities to its real-world applications in the field of cybersecurity. Time to wrap things up, don't you think? In a world where every device, every system, every piece of technology is connected and communicating with each other, a world where the lines between the physical and digital worlds are so blurred sounds like a cyberpunk dystopia straight out of a William Gibson novel, doesn't it? Well, buckle up because that's basically the world we're living in already. And you know what that means? More targets for your trusty Flipper Zero to hack into. But in all seriousness, the Flipper Zero's future is closely connected to the constantly changing field of protecting computers computer systems and data. As our world becomes more interconnected and reliant on technology, the need for robust security testing and vulnerability research will only continue to grow. And who better to take the charge than the passionate community of hackers and tinkerers behind the Flipper Zero? With each firmware update and community contribution, the device's capabilities expand, opening up new frontiers in the world of wireless communication, radio frequency manipulation, and beyond. Being able to hack into the latest smart home systems with a few taps on your Flipper Zero or probing the security of cutting-edge autonomous vehicles with a simple radio frequency scan, the possibilities are endless. And the only limit is the collective imagination of the hacking community. Speaking of pushing boundaries, if you're intrigued by the potential misuse of technology, check out this video exploring how the US military is allegedly hacking into people's brains. It's a real-life story that will make you question the boundaries of privacy and ethics in the digital age. Or if you can't get enough of the Flipper Zero and its capabilities, we have another video about this remarkable device. You'll get to see more real-world demonstrations and learn about the latest updates and features from the vibrant hacking community behind it. With great power comes great responsibility, as they say, and as the Flipper Zero continues to evolve and grow grow in popularity, it's crucial that we, as a community, remain vigilant in our pursuit of ethical hacking practices and responsible disclosure. So hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave your stories below in the comments section. This is The Hacker's Journal signing off for now. Stay safe until next time. Thanks for watching.